Now we are about to complete the project. So let's get the footer done. Scroll down. Now we are going to replace this power by Drupal with our own copyright notice. Right? So let's create a custom block for this. Go to structure, blocks, add block. For the title, we do need the title. So we will hide it. Block description. I'll put footer column copy right. Right? Let's scroll down. Here, we will fill it with, I'll paste it here. Copyright 2015, Troop Dream 7, All Rights Research. For the CSS classes, I'll put a copyright. Oh, there's no need icon. Scroll down for region. Assign to footer. Scroll down. It will show on all pages and save the block. Now let's go to footer region again. And this time we'll disable this power by Drupal. Then scroll down. Save the block. Now let's go to the front page and check it out. Scroll down. Good. Now let's do a bit of styling to the footer. Let's open the text editor. Let's open our CSS style. I'll copy and paste the CSS file here. Now basically I'm giving the footer a background color. I made the phone and link to be white in color. All right. So let's save this and back to our site. So let's refresh the page. Now it looks better. Let's inspect the element. Right. I think we remove this container class from the footer tag. Okay. I think we place it here in the inner repo. Yep, it looks better. So let's make the changes on the page template. Back to our text editor again. Let's open templates. Page template. That is page.tpl.php. Scroll down. Right. So let's cut this container class. Let's add one more div. Give it a class. Paste the class here. Cut the closing tag and paste it here. And then this. Okay, that's great. Let's save it. Back to our site. Now let's refresh the page. Great. Now I think we made this 2005 to be dynamic. So it will display the current year automatically. Now, instead of writing PHP code in the block, which is less secure, we can actually use token. So let's install a module called token filter to make this possible. Let's go to the module page. It says here, you can actually use the token. But where to find the token? We will check it out later. Now scroll down. Let's copy the link back to our site and install. Modules, install new module. Paste the link here. Click install. Enable the module. Let's look for token. Turn on this token filter and save the configuration. Now we need to turn on the filter in the text formats. Let's coffee text format. Enter. Configure full HTML. Scroll down. So we need to turn this on. Replace tokens. Right? Scroll down. Save the configuration. Let's edit our footer block this time. Go to front page. Scroll down. We'll go in from here. 
scroll down. If you notice, there's some more information about text format link here. Let's click on this link and you open the page in a new tab. Now here are some tips for text formats, full HTML. If you scroll down, there are some global tokens you can use here. For example, you click on current page, different tokens you can use, or even current user as well. Right? For year, we will click on current date. Okay. There are many formats for date as well. Now we're going to use this custom format for year. And you can check out the documentation here. Open in new tab. You can find different format you want. And we are going to use this Y in capital letter for year. So back to our token site. Let's copy this token. Back to our footer block. And we will replace this with a token. Okay. Always remember to filter the text when you copy the token over. Somehow it comes with the inline CSS styles together, right? So we will replace this question mark with capital letter Y to display the year. Check the source. Yep, the token is clean. Now what about the site name? Let's replace this name with the site name token as well. Now let's go back to our token site. Scroll down. There's a site information. Open it. Here the site name token. Copy it. Back to our block. We'll replace with this. Site name. Double check again. Great. So let's scroll down and save the block. Let's check it out. That's great. It rendered very well. So let's proceed. 